reading NCRT like this will definitely give you an edge over the others. Stay tuned to know how. I know you all must be reading NCRT line by line word to word and that's good but it's not enough because even NCRT is a very long book and you need to prepare short notes from those NCRT those NCRT lines those NCRT words because at the last time you won't be having much time to read the whole NCRT book again and again and your success and your marks that which you are going to score directly depends upon the number of revisions that you will make of the subject of the syllabus that is going to come in the examinations so make sure to prepare short notes of that NCRT stuff so that you can revise it faster and for a much greater number of times number two diagrams and graphs so have you seen all those big diagrams and all those graphs given in the NCRT textbooks I am sure you all must have be having a keen look on all those diagrams and graphs and make sure you don't leave any such diagrams and graphs in that NCRT textbooks because these days questions are directly asked from those graphs from those diagrams only so make sure you have a strong grip on those diagrams and graphs to make sure you score better number three solved examples so many a times you can see Questions are given in between the chapters in the NCRT textbooks that are solved and many times we don't take a look at those questions thinking that we know the answers of those questions but my friend don't neglect those questions even if it's very simple question please have a look at those questions because maybe that will be the question that can be asked directly in the needed examination because it's given in the NCRT and it's important. So from next time, it doesn't matter which chapter are you reading, have a look at those each and every single question that is given between the NCRT as a solved example. And last but not the least, the NCRT back exercises. There's a bunch, lots of questions given in the NCRT after the end of each chapter for you to solve them. So make sure you solve each and every question given in the NCRT back exercises because many a times it has been seen that NDA directly puts up that question in the neat examination even without changing its value. See how much jackpot you could win if you get to solve each and every questions of the NCRT that is given at the back exercises. So these were all the important points that you need to keep in mind while preparing for the NEET exam and while reading NCRT as well because just reading NCRT is not enough. It is good but it is not enough. You need to keep in mind these facts too so that you can read NCRT efficiently and properly and score way better because at the end it's not all about hard work. It's about smart work as well. Keep learning.